Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, my name is Aisha Jamila Karabangura. I'm the Shabby and Shaz Creations. Today, I'm going to try to do a little demonstration on the perfect and the best ways for me to exfoliate. Um, I preach exfoliation all the time with you guys, and I really want you guys to know the process and how to go about doing it. So, exfoliation can, exfoliants can come in a different form. It can be a liquid exfoliant, it can be a semi-liquid exfoliant, it can be a really just a toning, uh, vibrant, uh, radiant, um, result exfoliant. So we've seen all these exfoliants. Of course, we also know that exfoliants come as a form of a wipe also. So for demonstration purposes, I have put this towel on my leg so you don't have to do this at home, but I put this towel on my leg so I don't make a mess while I go through this. So let's start by going to a liquid exfoliant. So it comes in a tube if you buy it from Shaz Creations. And I tell you guys all the time that if I don't make something, but I have a product that I've been using for years that I like, I'm going to add it to my line. So this is Exfoliation. It's not my brand, but the rest of the products are my brand. The wipes are not my brand, but I enhance the wipes. So let me put that disclaimer on me right now before you guys start calling me tell me. I saw that on YouTube. I saw that somewhere else. So let me um, focus on what's mine and what I like. So I do like the Exfoliation because the liquid exfoliant and you really just bring your skin out and makes you just radiant after a good exfoliation. So that's a liquid exfoliant. These are semi-liquid and this is Shaz Creation's own brand. So um, this is the cucumber um, scrub. Most of you know it. It comes in your packages when you buy. I'm going to use the bottom of the stick just so that I don't put my hands in it. But it comes with a lot of oils. We know summer's coming. You're going to need to make sure that whatever you exfoliate with, it leaves some kind of a moisture on your skin. Um, in the wintertime, you can use any exfoliants because you know you're going to be using heavy lotions and heavy creams. So, so that's what it really looks like. It's a cucumber scrub. It smells so good. Uh, it smells like something you can eat. No joke. Um, and then we have the Mediterranean Dead Sea Scrub. Um, it's also is semi-liquid. And all these have either a rice base, a sea salt base, or sugar scrub base. So that is the Mediterranean scrub, as you can see. I'm just mixing these up so you know that when you get a scrub, you have to make sure you mix the ingredients together. Because sometimes the oils that I use to make sure I enhance um, the moisturizing factor after you exfoliate, uh, it, it, it will um, kind of come to the top. So when you do mix it, it comes out as a creamy base. Okay, so we've done the cucumber scrub, we've done the uh, Mediterranean scrub, we've actually also done the um, liquid um, exfoliation um, scrub. Um, these come in body and facial. These can be face and body. And also, for the summer, I'm lounging. I've told you guys a lot of scrubs. So I'm just going to go to a skin toning, skin enhancing scrub. The reason why they are lighter and not as um, watery is because you want to make sure that the ingredients that are there to enhance your skin color stays with you while you exfoliate. So this is Shaz Creation Gentle Scrub. Um, it comes with some of your packages and most of you know what it is already. And this is our new summer line. So I'm gonna just tell you that this is a rice and macadamia nuts. You should smell it. Oh my God, it's to die for. This is more of a creamier base. So you want to make sure that what you get in for the summer is not the same exfoliant that you use in the winter. So this is more of a creamy base. It looks like lotion. So people get in their package and they come and say, was that a lotion? But no, it's an exfoliant. So we're going to do several little um, exfoliation sessions right now. So let's say, for instance, um, you are at the sink, but you want to start with a liquid exfoliant like this. So you're going to shake the tube up. I don't have a mirror, so you guys got to pretend I'm your mirror, okay? So, and you got to pretend that you're in front of the mirror so you can see your face. I'm just going to pull my scarf up a little bit. And I'm going to pour in my hand as much as I think I may or may not need. And I'm just going to rub it and in a circular motion go to my face. Okay? So you see that it's coming on as a gel, right? Since I can't see you in my mirror. So it's coming on as a gel, right? Make sure you go around your eyes. Do not forget you can do your eyelids. Okay? In a circular motion. You want to leave it there for a few minutes. Let it just sit. But since I told you guys I'm crazy about exfoliating. And if you drip... Have a towel nearby for the excess. And you're going to come and just go circular motion. 
And you know that I started with the gel, right? So you need to pay attention to this. I still can't see, but I can feel it. I can feel that it's already starting to get rid of my dead skin and it's beginning to lift because I can feel it's looking more like a solid form now. And for somebody that hasn't exfoliated in a long time or never has, you're going to be amazed at yourself because before you know it, this white that you see is going to start turning like a tan color. And before you know it, that tan color is going to turn black if you haven't exfoliated for a while and if you got dead skin or if your pores are clogged. So you're going to end up with more junk, like my kids call it, mush junk. So I'm going to give a side view because I can feel a lot of formation here. I can feel it. I can feel formation on my neck. And I feel formation on the side of my cheek. So that's what you're supposed to feel. And you will see like little clumps that will start. Always do circular motion, please. And it will start as little solid form starts to form. This is my, my kids call it, you know, rubbish. So this is your dead skin really coming off. All right. We need to exfoliate minimum three to four times a week. And you want to know why? Because you want to get rid of the dead skin, unclog your pores. Clog pores ends up to pimples, blackheads, whiteheads. So you really want to exfoliate. And I love to exfoliate. And I encourage you, my customers and my family, because my customers are my family, to exfoliate. Okay, so you want to do this until you feel like you've had enough skin and the gel is beginning to dry. You don't want it to get fully dry. And I don't know how much you saw, but you can see the, the all the dead skin came apart. So now, for demonstration's sake, if you're home, make sure you wash your face real good. Since I'm going to be doing scrub after scrub, because this is an exfoliating um, video, so I'm just going to use my baby wipes, um, baby wipes. I'm going to use my exfoliating wipes, which I have enhanced with more ingredients, natural ingredients, so that when I do finish exfoliating, there's a glow behind my exfoliation. I don't know if you're trying to follow with that. So when you are taking off exfoliant, make sure you keep your eyes closed. And as you can see, you see all the dead skin? So you end up with all the dead skin, all the, all the dirt from your face, you're going to see. So, and I did shower this morning. So you're going to see all that. I don't care how many times you exfoliate, you're going to see something. All right? And I always use my excess because it has so much ingredients in the wipe. I'm showing you by your wipes, you don't see it's this wet. But it has so many extra ingredients that I will use the extra on my hands and my elbows. Don't forget your elbows, please. When you exfoliate, don't forget your elbows. Don't forget your knees. And please don't forget your ears. Um, your neckline. So you, you no, I do do um, a full exfoliation, which includes uh, my whole face, my body, my whole body from head to toe, three times a week, and I do my face every other day. I don't care how tired I am, I do that because I have struggled with eczema, I've struggled with dry skin, and I definitely have struggled with acne and pimples and dark spots for years since I was a teenager. So. And for some of you that always tell me, I got makeup on when I come on live, voila, it's for you. I have no makeup on. So if I had makeup on, I wouldn't be washing my face in front of you, correct? Because the makeup would have come off by now, right? Okay, good. So you get to see, I tell you all the time, if I break out, I'm going to show you my breakout because I'm human. My skin is not 100% proof from any kind of medication or chemicals or whatever you make to use on your face. You have to break out. You're human. Um, we can't get rid of dirt. Now, do you see that? Every time you touch your skin with an exfoliant, you're going to get junk, dead skin, excess oil, and clog your pores, okay? So, I don't know how clean I am, but I'm hoping I'm clean enough for you to see the after. So, if you were home, you will wash your face real thorough. Make sure you get rid of the excess, and always watch out for your baby hairs when you do a gel exfoliant, because the gel tends to go clog your um it just get it just attached to your baby ears so i always do don't scrub please don't rub just do gentle strikes and you'll get them all so this is 
As you've seen, very easy to do. So you have to make time for yourself to exfoliate your skin. It makes your skin radiant, grow, revitalizes your skin, and just brings out the best in the health of your skin. Okay, so that was an exfoliation with a gel. So um, all these are similar exfoliants. So I'm gonna take just one. Um, I, I'm gonna be partial today. I normally do the cucumber for you guys. I've done uh, the uh, macadamia is what I'm gonna do today. But I've actually done the Mediterranean. And um, for some of you that are in the process of thin, um, skin glowing, um, you tend to use this base for your um, scrub. I'm gonna skip all that. And I wanna do the macadamia. Uh, and I have my reason why. Summer is coming and you want to exfoliate with an exfoliant that has a lot of nutritional values and moisture to it in the summer because you don't want to come back and layer your skin with heavy stuff so i'm going to use the macadamia um and um milk butter and honey because it's going to leave my skin i want you to pay attention to how my skin look now so by the time i do this exfoliant you will see the glow and you also see that it's already moisture my face before i even finish so here we go so circular motion all the time. Don't forget to always do circular motion when you rub anything on your face. Moreover, if you're exfoliating. Moreover, if you're toning. Moreover, if you're trying to make sure it goes through every layer of your skin. Okay, so I always do this. I use the back of my hand as a, um, my holding station. So it's closer to me. Okay. And do not forget your nose. Lips in. Okay, make sure you go close to your eyes. It's your eyes. You can feel it. You can feel when you've gone too close. Please go around your eyes so you don't end up with um, dark circles in your eyes because you're, you're exfoliating, getting rid of all the skin, but you're not doing your eyes. So I do my eyelids, and I close my eyes when I do this. I have been exfoliating so long I can exfoliate without a mirror. I can exfoliate in a car. <laughs> Might as well tell you. If we go someplace and I want to look radiant when I get there, I exfoliate right in the car because I don't wear makeup. So I'll do my exfoliation right in the car with, a with my um, exfoliating wiping tote. And please do not forget your neckline. Your neckline comes all the way to where your bra meets and all the way to where your shoulders are. And then you go back to the back. So when I say your, your face, that's part of your face because we wear clothes that drop down or, you know, might be one shoulder. You don't want this to be one tone and then the other part of your body being one tone. Did that make sense? Did I take enough just what I need? It's got me doing this so long. <laughs> so now with both hands, circular motion. Make sure you really get deep. You don't need no scrub. Trust me when I tell you, you don't need a sponge. Your hand does a better job for your face. Your face is the most important part of your body. That's the first thing somebody sees. So you don't want to use too harsh of anything like a sapo or a loafer or washcloth. Um, you have granulites in this base made out of rice and uh, Mediterranean sea salt and a little bit of brown sugar so you are getting all what you need from the actual scrub so you don't need to go get a towel or washcloth or a scrubbing or exfoliating um, rag you don't need none of that your hands can do the job please when it gets to your neck do upwards motion so that you give your skin elasticity that you know you know we get younger we don't get older we get younger we don't want to lose the elasticity in our skin so when you do the downwards motion it's not good for your skin you want to do upward motion when it gets to your neck okay and I always do my last ones upward all right so you want to do this at least three to five minutes so you can agitate the skin to get up um, so you can get all the, rid of all the dead skin since I'm going to, for the sake of camera, by this point, if I was at the sink, I would start washing my face in a circular motion with water. So that said, I'm going to start doing circular motions to remove the exfoliant from my face. So I always watch out for my eyes first. So I always do my eye first because I want to be able to see my face or feel my face. And then the same what I just did, circular motion. So I always use my exfoliation wipe. I love exfoliating wipes. This is, this is um, a distributor brand, but I enhance it with Shaz Creation Zone Special Touch. So it really works good. 
And I've been doing this so long I can feel my way around. So you want to get rid of all the excess. So if you have the sink, you really want to wash really, really good. But for the sake of camera, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use a towel to wipe some of the excess off just so I'll be able to do this faster. Because, you know, we're on a time frame, right? We don't want to do videos that are too long that you don't get to enjoy and learn um, how to do your exfoliation process the right way. Um, everybody has their own ways of doing things. This is the way I do it at Shaz Creations. And... Um, we, we really appreciate and value each and every one of our customers. We believe that everybody deserves a glowing, radiant skin. And um, we do it the healthy, natural way. We make organic, natural skincare products. Um, premium, I should add. So uh, when you do something that you do from your heart, you really want to make sure your customers get the best out of it. So I told you, don't forget your neck. Don't forget your whole face. Your ears are part of your face. Don't forget your face. I'm just going to shake that out just so I can get the excess off. And I know my glow is not in yet because I can still feel granulites. So I just wanted to get rid of the heavy base. So I can now come and really just um, polish my skin. So I forgot to tell you that this particular um, macadamia, Shell's Creation macadamia um, scrub is milk. Rice milk, macadamia scrub, it really is a polisher. It really just brings out the glow in your skin. And regardless of what you use as an exfoliant, you are going to see a glower, brighter, more refined, and rejuvenated skin when you're done getting rid of the dead skin. Okay, so I'm just going to wash this off a little more. Because I can still feel the granulites around my eyes. Make sure you wash good at the sink. You rinse well. I tell people if you know you're going to take a shower, do your exfoliation just before you jump in the shower. Because you can get a better washing because you got water running than to do it at the sink. So I exfoliate. I know I get a question a lot from the website, from Facebook, from Instagram. You know. Actually, somebody sent me a wonderful question the other day from... Um, Amazon, because I have an Amazon page. Okay, you ready? Amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash Shaz Creations. Um, you can find them on my website. You can link our website to ShazCreations.com. And I appreciate you watching with me. And I hope you've learned a few things or two about exfoliating and the importance of exfoliating. And voila. What do you think? So we got a nice exfoliation session, and um, now you can follow up with either a wonderful moisturizer, a serum, uh, emulsion, and a lotion after. Without any further ado, um, I think we're done. This is a wrap. So again, thank you for watching. My name is Aisha Jamila Karabangura. I'm the Shabby and Shaz Creations, and we just got a little tip on how to exfoliate. We thank you very much for watching.